Let's get gardening. What is going on, everybody? Jesse here. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, tomatoes and and tomato cages and why you shouldn't be using them. Now, I'm not saying if you don't already have them, use them because by all means, you've already spent the money. But if you're a new gardener, um, it doesn't make any financial sense to, to purchase uh, tomato cages anymore. I bought these back in the day and they were, I think, $2.50, $2.99. Um, I priced them out at my local uh, Menards and they're over $6 now. And I have, uh, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight uh, uh, determinate tomatoes in here. They're all Romas. So let's, let's see here, eight, 16, 24, 32. Uh, we're over 30 bucks in one, in one garden box already. That's unacceptable. Um, like I said, if you already have the tomato cages, perfect. Use them. Um, it's it's just that if you don't have them, don't get them. Don't don't think that you need to spend that much money on on cages. Do they work? Sure, but there's a cheaper way of doing it, and I'm about to show you. So let's go over to my indeterminates where I have uh, started what I what I want to show you today, but uh, I want to finish it with the camera rolling. All right, we're in my indeterminate uh, tomato patch. And as you can see, I'm not using cages for these guys. For one, indeterminate tomatoes get really tall. If you allow them to, they can get over 10 feet tall easily. And there ain't no tomato cage worth it that's gonna be big enough, that's gonna be strong enough to hold these up. Um, but the, the idea is still true with determinants. You could do this with determinants. I'm doing it with determinants uh, actually just across the bed. But I figured I have a, a chore to do out here, so let's, let's try and get it done. Now, the idea with the Florida weave, it's pretty simple. Um, you're just using two structures. Uh, in my case, I have these uh, steel poles. You don't need to use steel. I actually purchased these uh, a few years ago, and they were only $5 a pop. And these ones are six foot tall. Um, you don't need to use these, though. You can use uh, a, a large stick. Um, in my case, I've also used my Jerusalem artichoke uh, uh, canes when they're all dried out. Um, anything like that is perfect. The cheaper, the better. Don't spend more money than you need. But uh, it's an easy concept. See, what we're doing is we're taking string and we're tying it between the two posts and we're uh, weaving it between the tomatoes to give them sort of a structure. Now you can see that I've already have two of them up, but it's time to put another one up too. So let's, let's get to it. And as you can hear, I've got tom uh, tomatoes. I've got chickens laying eggs in the background. I apologize for the noise, but it's a good thing for me. Put that on there nice and tight and just follow the pattern. Now I've seen it done uh, in a few different ways where you take the, the line and then you just go one straight around all of it, but I like to loop it around each plant uh, one at a time. So I've got it on this side of the plant on this one and then over here I'll take it on the opposite side and then do the same for over here. Oh, leave my knife. Move back around. Cut that section off. nice and tight just like that and I'll do one more going the opposite way just tie it off again oh my god my chicken is having a time of laying that egg toss my hori hori over there and then like I said just go on the opposite side of each plant that you already did And we're done. As you can see, these guys are up upright and looking good. Let's uh, let's move around to a spot that's a little bit more shaded and uh, talk for a minute. 
All right, like I said, um, if you don't have tomato cages, don't feel the need to get them because like I just showed you, a little bit of twine and uh, a couple posts, uh, two st uh, sturdy sticks. Uh, you could use furring strips. They're cheap as well. Uh, they don't last more than about a season, but you also get a bundle of them, so you can use quite a few at the same time. Um, it just doesn't make any sense to use tomato cages anymore. Not for the price that you're paying. Yeah, that you're paying. Um, and it's just easy. A few cents worth of, of twine, string, uh, anything, uh, whatever you have on hand, and weave it across a couple of tomato plants and you're good. And you just do that um, probably every five inches, five to six inches. So uh, it, it, it just kind of weaves itself up. It doesn't take very long, as you saw, so it's not something that's super time consuming, but I do think it's something that everyone needs to actually start to do. Um, the Florida Weave is what it's called, and I'm sure there's other people that have shown it more eloquently than I, but this was my, my own version of it, and I figured I'd give you guys a little viewing of it. This is Jesse. Happy gardening.